we are at home cooking with Miss Brenda D. So welcome from Miss Brenda D. and our family. Hello everyone. How y'all doing on this nice, beautiful day? Today I'm sharing with y'all some freshly caught brim and catfish, y'all. This brings back so many memories as a child when I used to go fishing with my family. Come on, y'all. Let's get to cooking. Y'all, I decided to come over here and show y'all my fish that my grandson brought by my house last night. These are called brim fish, and they also caught me a huge catfish, y'all. And I'm going to fry this up. Y'all, this is what we grew up on back in the day when I was a child. We um, did have the luxury of the catfish, you know, the skin catfish that we uh, can enjoy now. We ate these type of fish. Is there anybody else that remember these type of fish? Please comment me below now this one y'all this fish was like a whole foot long okay here i'm counting the fish i want to know how many they caught me that's one 18 it was 19 with the huge catfish i'm about to go to my sink and wash these down and i'm thinking about y'all cutting this part right here off that'll make it more easier for me to eat and I wouldn't really have to worry about a bone if I cut that part off. That's what I'm thinking about doing. Okay, I'll be back. Here I'm adding some, just some regular salt. Y'all, I don't want, um, different flavors. In this type of fish, I don't want any garlic powder or none of that kind of fish seasoning or mm -mm. I want just regular just regular salt and pepper. That's what I prefer. But you can put whatever seasoning you would like. Now I'm adding some black pepper. Flip these over. Let me add a little bit more salt and black pepper. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to season my catfish. Do anybody remember eating fish like this back in the day? This is a, a really a part of a fillet, but I left the nugget on there. This is the catfish nugget right here. But I decided to leave it on my fillet. I'm just going to use some of this salt and black pepper that I put on my rims. Okay, I hear my grease. I hear my oil over here. It's about ready. And I'm gonna be right back. If y'all remember some of these, these this type of fish, let me know. And the way I'm making it, I'm cooking it. Um, like I said, these uh, fish is what we grew up on back in the day. And we didn't know anything about the fish like they got now. They got the catfish that they done skit and filleted. But we didn't know nothing about that. We only ate the fish that we caught. So um, this is what I remember, and this is Jake, Br and this is definitely bringing back memories. 
Okay, in this bag, I just put just regular cornmeal. I don't want any fish fry mix or anything like this, but I'm going to use just straight up cornmeal. Just what I prefer. I'm going to make it, I'm going to cook it the same way I remember. Here, I'm adding one piece of my fish jam. get one more piece over there on the side okay just letting y'all know that you can uh you do not have to use this type of fish you can fry catfish or any type of fish that you desire to fry this way so it doesn't have to be this type of fish okay as y'all can see as i put my fish in there i'm buying all the cool down just a little bit enough to cook my my fish. Let me check it. I'm gonna let this cook. And like I said, these are some big pieces. Got to see they are cooking. These are some big pieces, so I'm gonna let these continue to cook. Now, I'm going to turn this over. This one is good. Turn it over. I'm going to also turn this one over. Let me check this one. This one may be ready. No, I'm going to let that cook just a little bit more. Okay, I done flipped all of them over now. It all depends on how you like your fish. If you don't like yours, just hard cook. Uh, just take it out after like two minutes. On, let them cook like two to three minutes on each side. This is the way I like mine. And so I'm going to take this out. I like my brims cooked soft. I'm going to take this piece out. And I forgot to tell y'all that y'all may have noticed y'all self that I put one fish in at a time. I have always done that. I never put two or three pieces in my bag or in my uh, breading. what I was telling y'all. I did take the real part. I cut that off so I don't have to worry about those real bones. So I forgot to mention that. This is the way I'm cooking them. Okay, y'all, I'm showing y'all my final result. Here's my catfish. I still got one piece over there in the skillet that I'm waiting on. I hope y'all enjoy me taking you back to my childhood memories of us eating this type of fish. Another thing, when I was small, my mother had to make sure she picked the fish off the bone for me so I can eat it until I got up to the age where I can pick it out myself. But um, y'all be very careful with the bone. Y'all well, I'm going to get ready to close. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And please don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can get my new and upcoming videos. 
And to my new viewers and subscribers, welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel. I'm getting ready to go. And like always, I'm going to say, y'all have a blessed day. And bye-bye for now. Hey, Mama Ray Ray, do you see what I see? I got some lemons. Y'all, Mama Ray Ray, I was watching her live yesterday, and she was talking about how she loved the lemons. We'll Y'all, I love them as well. And so I wanted to share with y'all my lemons. Okay, Mama Ray Ray, y'all go and check her channel out. I'm going to leave the link in my description box. I just want to share my plate with you. Y'all, I'm Y'all see, I have some strawberry lemonade that I purchased at Sam's. Y'all, this is so delicious. I'm going to show y'all the container that it's in. Okay, I'm going to close for real, y'all. As always, I'm going to say, y'all have a blessed day, and bye-bye for now. Love y'all. At home cooking with Miss Brenda D. So welcome from Miss Brenda D. and our family. That's a hit.